Hello and welcome back to Chemi Mystery. Um, today we're going to look at how the model of an atom has been developed throughout history. This is going to be a shorter video and this whole topic, this history of the atom, I've never been asked an A-level question. However, it's in the book, so therefore we're going to give it a quick gloss over. So we start with this guy called Dalton. Dalton was a bit of a baddie. He thought, guys, what if, sounds a bit crazy, um, but what if atoms exist? That would be crazy, right? And it was crazy at the time. He basically came up with the idea of an atom. Then we have, have this guy called Becquerel. Now, this is something you don't need to know about for GCSE, but he discovered radioactivity. <laughs> As we learned in the last episode, radioactivity is when atoms do stuff. Um, but it meant that atoms couldn't be just one block, as Dalton thought. Idiot. Um, because they're doing funky stuff, so there's got to be parts that make up those atoms. J.J. Thompson, he was like, guys, what if? electrons existed. What if there's some positive bits and there's some negative bits and together they make up this neutral thing and so I'm gonna call it the plum pudding model um, and I'm just gonna assume that there's like a big positive cake batter with little negative raisins in. He was wrong but he did come up with the idea of an electron so he can't be too harsh. Ernest Rutherford, he's our next guy, he was like, I'll test that. He came up with an alpha particle scattering experiment. <laughs> so, yeah, he fired these helium nucleus nucleuses at this one atom thick gold foil. And what did he expect to go back? Well, he expected some to pass through, a couple, and he expected most of them to just to bounce straight back because, you know, the atoms in the gold are like, solid things, but nearly all of them pass through. What? That was unexpected. So what does that mean? Well, it means that all of the mass of an atom is concentrated in one tiny bit and most of it's empty space. And therefore the idea of a nucleus was born. So the alpha particles that pass through just didn't hit the nucleuses. They went through that electron cloud that surrounds them. You need to stop everything. Niels Bohr, Bohr, boring. Um, he was like, I hear what you're saying. What if like the electrons aren't all just plopped around in a cloud? What if they're in layers? Ooh. Layers! Uh electrons are in layers. So that was our history of the atom. So um, hopefully this has been helpful. I've been Kemi Mystery. Uh, add the socials, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that nonsense. And uh, thanks for watching.